And one of the things that I've noticed a very sharp uptick in just pastorally is the number of people that are not only pro-violence, but if you speak against violence, will speak against you. And I know there's been like that mindset has been in the far left for many, many decades, all the way back to Stalin. But to see it on Instagram from millennial Christians has been a new experience for me. And um, an increasing number of people saying violence is the only way, violence is justified, and not just on racial issues, on all sorts of other issues. So what do you see there, and what do you think is the root behind that kind of, and maybe this is just my perception, maybe it's just like I live in a weird echo, I do live in a weird echo chamber, so maybe it's that. But what do you see as behind that kind of shift toward a new kind of cultural consensus around violence? Well, that's the question that I think we need to wrestle with. And I'm not quite sure, to be honest with you. I've experienced that in my own life, uh, even as a pastor here in Seattle, speaking up about certain things. Uh, we've had rocks thrown into our church building. We've had vandalism constantly around our church. I've had people come to my home. I've had to move my family out of my house out of concern for their safety because we were receiving death threats. But in the last year, just as you articulated, uh, it's the acceptance and even celebration of violence that concerns me. Uh, Martin Luther King Jr., during his time, obviously we celebrate his work because of his commitment to nonviolence. But what a lot of folks don't realize is that during his time, he was seen as the most dangerous, the most hated person, but he received criticism even among those who agreed with him because they felt like his non-violent ways and tactics were effective. And so as a result, even among the African-American community, there were a growing number of folks that saw him as an Uncle Tom, someone that basically betrayed against him. And I think this is an example, perhaps, of Christians aligning with cultural Christians. Yeah. That methodology of our culture, rather than, again, being committed to the kingdom of God and to the ways of Jesus Christ. Right.